Manipulation of 3D virtual data is now everywhere, from architectural purposes to 3D printing softwares or 3D animation making. Softwares allowing these are used on desktop stations, so interaction is done with a mouse and keyboard. This is a problem because of the mouse in particular. The mouse can only be moved in two directions, X and Y. That is, that it only provides two degrees of freedom, while usual 3D manipulations require up to six degrees of freedom. Only software this problem is solved by using specific mappings, which are way less intuitive than our way to interact with 3D objects in the real world. So researchers started to focus on alternative ways of interacting with 3D virtual data, such as tactile interaction, tangible interaction, media gestures, specific devices such as Wiimotes or Qubit Mice. In particular, they developed many techniques and set up for 3D visualization. And yet it seems that domain experts still rely extensively on traditional desktop with mice and keyboards. Indeed, most of the tools and softwares haven't been developed to be used with these new interaction paradigms. So it seems that it would be interesting to try and link new interaction paradigms with already existing one in order to start seeing all these interaction paradigms as being part of an interaction continuum. This could be interpreted in several ways. The first interpretation highlights the need to allow domain experts to easily switch from one working environment to the other. The second interpretation highlights the need to switch from one interaction paradigm to the other in order to achieve a specific task. On these two requirements, research has so far mostly focused on tasks such as musical playing, sketching, or annotating. Only a few research papers have proposed to focus on visualization, which is the main motivation for the work we present here. Also, past research has been mostly investigating the use of mobile prop in devices into setups such as caves, wall size displays, or tabletops. The environments are usually expensive, not widely available, difficult to calibrate, and to maintain, which is something we wanted to avoid in order to make sure that any domain expert could use our tools. By focusing on these three requirements, we believe that we can pave the way towards an interaction continuum for 3D dataset visualization. So we first need to understand the benefits of each interaction paradigm, and we focused on mouse tactile and tangible interaction. We studied the usability, that is the way evaluated completion time, accuracy, learnability, subjective preferences, workload, and fatigue. To answer our research question, we can say that there is no clear favorite in the end. They are all equally well suited for precise positioning tasks in 3D. And with our study setup, we provided a setup that is robust and cheap and supports all three interaction paradigms. Knowing these, we wanted to see how we could combine tactile and tangible interaction to benefit 3D visualization experts. So we decided to focus on three dynamic experts. And we conducted a field study with five experts that showed that they relied extensively on tasks that are 3D data and object manipulation, 3D picking or selection, and manipulation of primitives such as seeding point placement in 3D. With tactile and tangible interaction, many techniques have already been developed. But what was unclear was how we could use hybrid interaction techniques to provide these. So we focused in particular on data manipulation and seeding point placement for three dynamic application and implementing them. We relied on a specially aware Google Tango tablet that was combined with a large screen that offered a replicated view of the tablet and a non-projected view of the cutting plane. The data could be manipulated with the data screen or the tablet itself, and the same was true for the cutting plane. As for the seating point placement, it was achieved by positioning the cutting plane with the tablet and recasting the finger position onto the plane. So hybrid interaction was possible with off-the-shelf tablet for fluid dynamic visualization. Our system is very easy to integrate into the fluid dynamic experts workflow. Hybrid interaction was called still more flexible and was largely preferred by our experts. We focused in particular on data manipulation and seeding point placement for fluid dynamic application, but we can also wonder how to do 3D selections. That's our next research question. How can hybrid tactile tangible interaction facilitate 3D selection? Usually 3D selections are achieved with the raycasting technique, which consists of pointing towards an object of the virtual world to select it. But this technique cannot work for data set that not exhibit specific objects such as medical data or particle data. So we propose the following hybrid technique. A lasso is created with the tactile screen. Then it is extruded into 3D by moving the tablet. You can see here that it's possible to consider only the movements along the tablet's normal, but we can also use the full six degrees of freedom offered by the tablet. So we provided here another hybrid interaction technique that focuses on one essential task for 3D data visualization, which is 3D selection. Our setup was again affordable and easy to integrate. Our final question was to investigate whether it was possible to use tactile interaction to somehow control the gain factor of tangible manipulation with the tablet. 
So far, we are mostly focused on tactile interactions providing positioning information on screen. However, our fingers can also deliver additional information, such as the force that we apply. So to capture this information, we use two pressure sensors that you can see on the back of the tablet that are connected to our RF Arduino and then transmit its data to the tablet. When the pressure is low, the gain factor is low and manipulations are slow but precise. When the pressure is high, the gain factor is high and manipulations are fast but imprecise. We then conducted a study to compare it to other possible controlling modes of gain factors. And our results showed that pressure is a good modality to control the gain factor for 3D manipulations. We also proposed a new hybrid interaction paradigms by combining tangible interaction with tactile input, but the tactile input does not provide positioning information, but rather provides pressure information. Our setup is still affordable and easy to maintain as it only requires a tablet, four sensors, and an Arduino. It is easy to see with all our setups that we provided hybrid interaction environments that are affordable and easy to maintain. We provided new visualization-oriented hybrid interaction and combined tactile and tangible input. We also implemented an easy synchronization between multiple devices. However, and this constitutes the continuation of this thesis work, we haven't yet tried to include it into wall-sized displays, tabletops, or caves, which are particularly interesting for 3D data visualization. Similarly, while we supported 3D interaction, we only use 2D displays. And we can wonder how users would perform with 3D displays too.